Yo, what is up guys? Today, we're reviewing this. Wait, which way is it supposed to go? Yeah, I guess it's supposed to go that way. There. Back of it. There. So I got this at the Rubik's Cube exhibit. And I got, I got something else I'm going to review next video. So be prepared for that. Please like and subscribe and, and hit the notification bell so you can know when that video comes out and hopefully be the first view on it. I love being the first view on videos. It's really nice. It's a good feeling. So first let's open this up. So basically you get to, first let me just, you basically get your own booklet and can make your own cube, everything. So let's see what's inside of it when we open it. Let's see. Oh, this will be nice. This will be nice to show. Oh, come on. <laughs> completely ruined now. I would have shown you like this, but the directions are in the way. Ah. Let's open this up. Oh, man. What's, what's with that? That's like, what is this, the Fortnite? You're not, stealing, you're not storing a million pounds of gold in here. Like, what is the reason to have such... Okay. Try this now. Oh, much better. This is going to look inside for you. Here is the booklet. A whole bunch of stuff to tell you how to solve it. And all that stuff you get for just about every Rubik's Cube booklet. Um, let's see. What else do we have? Tiles, I think. Yeah, tiles. Pieces, springs, st stuff coming to the core, more tiles. So we're good. We have a lot, we have everything we need. So I'm gonna cut right now. We're gonna put this together now. I'm gonna put this together, and I'll be right back when it, when I put it together. Okay, so I'm back, and I actually just made one half of the core, but I'm gonna show you how to make one. Here, just give you a bit of. See that? There. So first, get one of these things. And then put it on one of these. Put a spring on one of these things. Uh, these things, yeah, good old these things. And then put that in this hole. Good. Put that down for a second. Take and take, do it again. Put that in there, put it in this side. Now as you see, I think this is, I think if I remember correctly, that's why you can tension, tension things. So, don't drop that. It has small pieces, so just don't, don't lose them. I almost lost them. this in here. We might have to speed this up. Maybe. But, oh, there we go. Never mind. And then, attach the core. There. There we go. Now you have a Rubik's Cube core. Don't drop that on the computer. That's the last thing I need. So, I, so I'm going to cut right now. We're going to do the next step, and I'll be right back to you. So I've goofed up. Um, we're actually supposed to put this little hashtag thing in it. So I can get this thing apart. Hope I can. Oh, great. Can I even get this thing apart now? Oh, great. So, actually, I'm going to have to cut again. I'm going to cut so many times here. So, I'm going to get this thing apart, and then I'll show you where you're supposed to put it in here. So, I'm back. 
actually, you did have to put this thing in before <sighs> you put the core together. So, let's do that. Perfect, like that. There. Let's get that now. And then put these two together. Wonder why you have to put that there. There. Now there's an actual four, four full, they have four Rubik's Cube core. A full Rubik's Cube core. So now let's actually do the centers. So I'm going to cut from that because I really don't want to have to. I don't want to make you watch me fiddling around for a while on camera. So basically, in a nutshell, you take one of you take one of these, take a little spacer, take a screw, put it on, take a center piece, drop it in, screw it into the core. So it's simple. It actually really is simple. So I'm going to cut right now. We're going to get all six of these done. And then we'll do the next step. So I'm just going to cut right now. So I'm back. So actually, you're not supposed to put all of them at once. You're only supposed to put five of them. So basically, you can, so you can put all the pieces on. So how do you do a corner? Let's get the corner stocks. Let me get, I'll be right back. Go. Get these right here. Let me show you one up close. And just pop it in. Just like this. I'm pretty sure you're supposed to know how you do it. There. Pop that in like that. Do all of them like that. Just pop another one in. They're a bit, a bit hard to do. Once you figure out like somewhat how to do it, you're good. And just press hard. So get these done. Yeah, it does make a bit of a snapping noise. I have to be able to get a jean jacket or something like that. Oh, great. Oh, here it is. Yeah, I might as well like a jean, jean jacket. Jean jacket, yeah. That's, yeah. Here's a tip. Make fun of your own, um, make fun of your own mess ups with your language and it'll work out. Good tip, actually. Just here's some edges, here's an edge, just a normal edge. Without the tiles on it, and I'll just take, get one in. There we go, that's working out really well, see? So, there we go, just get them in there. Yep, here you go, there's right there. And then get this one on. This over there. There's that. Get some of the corners on. Doesn't matter what color, because they're not colored yet. But you, I think you can actually get a certificate for learning how to solve this. I forgot how to solve one, so might as well film it or something and then get a certificate. I'll pro I'll unbox that or un unenveloped. Or unenveloped that certificate if I get one. So maybe, maybe. Okay. Stay right there.
Now put and fit one of these in here. I'm starting to like this set. That's nice. There, see? That's nice. That's awesome. Let's get... Oh yes, I am in a hotel room. This is awesome. Why do I find this so awesome? So here's a bit of a right from here, there, there, there. Okay, there we go. Get one to like that. Now, what do, what do I have to do now? I think. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm pretty sure you're gonna have to screw the next one in. So therefore, I'm going to cut, I'll be back, like, actually, not that long from now. It won't matter to you, it'll be like a second for you, but I'm going to cut for a second. So I'm going to be out, I'm going to cut right now. Okay, so I'm back. Actually, what we have to do is we have to pile them up like this. That's, at least that's what, what I'm doing. That's what I'm doing. So... You might, you can do it however it works for you. So, just get your corners, edges. Put them like this. This is looking awesome. Look at this cube. Yeah, ooh, does it come with an extra corner? Or an edge. Oh, that's nice. I don't know. Will that work? Ah, great. Yeah, I don't know if that'll work or not. I figured I'd try that, but will that work? Yeah, I don't know if it's gonna work. So, I'm going to cut, we're going to figure something else out. So, Okay, so I'm back, we just figured out how to do it. You basically, you do actually put it on the top, and then put the centerpiece in, and now we'll screw it in. I might have trouble with it, I don't know. As you see, yeah, I did put it in. Tension it. So I'll tension it at the end. When I'm, that's too loose. Yeah, it won't hold it. It won't hold as well. Let me do a bit more. So really loose. Let me So actually, so here it is. A cool cube, right? I should just get one of, I should get another one just for this whole cube, but. So I'm, I'm just gonna step over quick, get my tiles. Here they are. We can just start. Oh wait, where are the center cubes? Wait, we gotta get the center ones over here. Here they are. There are actually more over here. There, there they are. There are like tw the 24 of them. How many? I guess. No, actually, there's more. So 
So I'm going to cut for a second and we're going to put these on. Okay, so I'm back. So these things do not come off. They will not come off. So be aware of that. Don't mess around unless you unless you want to mess up. So you will not get this cube off. You will not get it off of this cube, okay? So just I want you to you know that. I, I forgot to tell you. So let me open this. Yeah, sure. Open it up with a screwdriver. That's how you do it. Unboxing at its finest, right? You know? Unboxing with a screwdriver. Or more like unbagging, but. Let's see. Let's get that out. Here's the actual Rubik's logo. There. Put that on. First first one. Hmm. What do I do here? That's not going off there, so that's nice. Cool. Now where do I want Okay, I want, what kind of color scheme do I want? Put this here. So I'll be able to see orange. Okay. And put a blue right here. Yeah, so you can make your own color scheme. That's cool. Well, you can't do the shades of color, but you can do where the colors are. There we go. So that's a good thing I'd see this way. Oh, it's like a, oh, let's do, I'm going to do the red. Here with yellow. How do you? All right. It's a bit tricky to get these on. There. Okay, so that's that's right there. What should I put there? I'm gonna put yellow there. Oh, I like this color scheme. Let's go. Let's put it on somehow. There. Last key, the last color for the centers. Oh man! Oh. Got it on. That's good. That's my color scheme. Put the greens and whites on. This should be a bit easier. No, I'm not. Let me go on. of a lot of things. Extra tile. Extra green tile. So, let's do the next one. white tile that's nice that's so it's starting to look like one I mean I have to tension it of course but oh 
open. So let's. Yeah, sure. Drop your cube. That's a good idea. Let me go get it. Let me get it. Good, right here. Drop it. That, that's how you solve it, right? You know, you drop it. You, when you drop cubes, they always get solved. Even a petabank. No, 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 no. The petabank doesn't gonna explode into a million pieces. No, it's gonna solve itself. Yeah, that's how it works. Yeah, petabanks don't solve themselves by falling on the floor. Remember that. Kids, remember that. Kids, remember that when you have a petaminx, don't drop it on the floor to solve it. Solve it by turning it in a certain way to solve it. Good instruct good instructions, right? Good. <laughs> oh, great. Yeah, my sense of humor is great. Who said that? Why do people keep saying that? This is oh great. Yeah, so don't drop your pen and on the floor because you want to solve it. It doesn't work. You have to solve it by solving it. You have to solve it, then you then you've solved it. So, good advice. Let me get this on there. You think that's a Rub Rubik's Cube, but nope. I'm not done with it. Oh, no, what's another extra blue one? An extra blue one, that's nice. Two left. So, yeah. There. That's an awesome shot, isn't it? But. Sprinkle that. Sprinkle. Hey, can I get some cake with a sprinkling of Rubik's Cube tie it? Tiles, you know, like that's the best kind of cake in the world. The best. Can't you can't get any better cake than cake with um sprinkled Rubik's cube tiles on it. You know, it's nothing better than that. Good old. I I, I can just crack myself up. Oh, my fingers are just getting tired. Let me try something else. Oh, let me try some. Let me try another one. Oh, great. There. Just, just not, just, 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 just does not want to go on. Refuses to go on. I don't know why. Oh. I don't know what's wrong with it. This thing even go on. Can we get this one to go on? Why is this not 
going on? So I'm just going to cut for a second and we're going to finally get this piece on. Oh man. So I'm going to cut quick. I'll be back. Okay, so I'm back. We finally got this. Wait, where is it? This one. Finally. Now, time for the yellow. Can't mess up now. Unless I literally managed to take, take off another tile, which I can't. It's impossible. It... Um, I don't, I don't know if it's impossible or not, but it's hard. It's not gonna come off, basically. But, I can't mess up unless one magically comes off and I put a yellow on the orange or green or any other color. Somehow. But, nope, doesn't look like it's gonna happen. There we go, just built a Rubik's Cube. Ooh. A bit loose, though. A bit, tiny bit loose. More than a tiny bit. So, I'm just going to go and tension it, and we're going to review it. We're going to review it again. So, I'm going to cut for a second. And cut. So, I'm back. Put it into a checkerboard pattern. It's, not, it's a nice cube, actually. Better than, like, a normal Rook cube we'll get from, like, the... Not the dollar store, but, um, Walmart. There we go. And it's better, it's better turning. You can tension it. Let's see how good the corner cutting is. Actually, wow! Oh, is that mean or is it a lot? Nope. Actually, so for a Rubik's, it's good corner cutting, I guess. I don't know quite what different people want different kinds of cubes, but it's good turning. But it's loud as every Rubik's cube is. Rubik's actual cube is always loud like really literally really loud so i got this at a rubik's cube exhibit it you know, normally it's like 24 dollars. i got it for that much um it's fun i have to admit it's really fun as to, for half for how much rubik's stuff actually costs like i don't i i i, I would say get it it's it's, it's a bit expensive. It's a bit expensive. I'm not going to give it a bad review because it's expensive, but it's a bit expensive, and and it's it's a whole lot of fun, actually. And it's a good quality. That's really what you want to... That's normally what you want to see. Um, so, it's good quality. I would recommend it. It's actually super-duper fun. So, I've been Black Bat Drum C, and I'm out.